Hi Eagles, it's Coach Williams. And today we're gonna do some stuff with a ball that you can do while you are sitting in place. You could do this in your house if you are able to. If, you're, if it's gonna make too much noise then you might wanna see if you can go outside. But you don't have to have a lot of space. All you need to do is have a chair. A basketball works good, but any ball that bounces will also work. First thing you wanna do is if you're sitting in your chair all chilling, you wanna scoot to the edge of your chair to work on some basketball dribbling and some basketball ball handling, but there are also fun things you can do with any ball, but it would help if it bounces. Okay, first thing, you're just gonna use your finger pads and you're gonna toss it back and forth like that. See how many times you can do that. Okay, I am looking at you, that is ideal, but while you're learning, you might have to look at the ball bounce between your fingers. Another thing you can do is if you have enough space between you and the back of your chair, you can bring it around your back and then you can switch directions. Just like with most of our skills, one direction or one hand is usually easier than the other. That one's called your dominant hand. Whoops, I almost lost it talking to you. You can do that same thing around a leg. So again, on the edge of your chair, put one leg forward and then switch. These skills help you for basketball, but they also help you for a lot of other sports that involve hand-eye coordination. Okay, that's how well you can do things, particularly when you are using the coordination, but you're still keeping your head up. But again, while you're learning, I'm gonna switch legs, you might have to look down a little bit until those muscles get used to that type of skill. Okay, now I'm gonna try it with a bounce. I'm gonna bounce it in between. That gets easy, I'll try to use just one hand and then the other and then alternate one dribble or one bounce in between. You put one leg out and see if I can bounce it under and catch it. Bounce and catch and catch. For those of you that are more skilled with basketball, you might be able to keep it going. Looks like Coach Williams needs some work on this. Again, other leg up and under and up and catch and catch and then see if you can keep it moving under this one in the middle under this one in the middle start to lose control see if you can get it back under control this might be good outside so that if you do lose control of the ball you can see if you can uh, go get it without it hitting a wall in your house um, also, make sure you don't have a street too close. Um, if you are outside, hopefully you have a wall, an outside wall or a fence nearby. All right, those are a few things you can do to work on basketball skills or any other skill with a ball that bounces. Stay tuned. I'm going to do some more of these with you in the upcoming weeks. Make it a great day. Be nice to someone.